Okay, y'all, we're exactly 13 hours into the cook here on these two briskets and two pork butts. I've had the temperature dialed in right at 220. It fluctuates back and forth depending on when the burner fires up. And I had wood smoke on it all the way through the first seven hours of the cook. There's our two briskets. Oh my goodness, look at that bark. And we did spritz them about three times last evening. All right, let's check our temperature here right in the thickest part. It slides in like butter. 204 on that one. Come over to this one. Right in the thickest part. 202. I'm thinking we're there. We're gonna wrap these briskets up tight in aluminum foil now and let them rest for about three or four hours. There's the first one out. That bark looks amazing. Look at this. Nothing but jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Okay, the tricky part here is these briskets are so tender. I mean, they are so tender. Getting them off of the grill, the cooker, that old hickory. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good, y'all. This is gonna be good. wrap this one up just like a newborn baby in a blanket of tin foil. Seal it up nice and tight. Okay I'm just gonna put another layer of foil on our two briskets here. We're in that pan. Give it a nice Tight seal all the way around and right into our warming cabinet. We're just gonna let them rest there for about three and a half, four hours in that warming cabinet where we're holding them at 136 to 140 degrees. Pretty. Yeah, you're ready to. You got one off. What, what was the temp? Had uh, 201 on Okay. I didn't check the temp on the other one. See what this other one is. He needs to climb up there another four degrees, five or yeah, I'd say five or six. That sure is a party thing. <laughs> that sounds like a movie line to me. That yeah, is a movie line, Bill. <laughs> hey, that that thing is soft as butter, though. Yeah, yeah it I'm is. Not kidding. All right, we're gonna take this butt in there and put it in a warming cabinet. Dougie, you got it all wrapped up nice and tight. Just like a baby. It ain't gonna burn your fingers, is it? No, it's perfect. I wish you had a video of this one coming off here, though. I'll get the next one coming the, off. The juices were running down and made yeah. little caramelized icicles. <laughs> we'll get the next one. I'm gonna check these dinosaur ribs. Okay, I've had our dinosaur ribs on the Traeger here about two and a half hours. Uh oh, I don't know what that was. Look at that, y'all. Dinosaur ribs. Give it a little spritzing. Put some apple juice here. I had to put these on at 4.30 this morning because I got a lady named Miss Jackie that wants to pick up a rack at 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah. They coming right along. Lee Tolliver too. Lee Tolliver's coming in to get a rack. Alan Jr., what you got? I don't know got? how I got to be the bean boy, but these are the beans. The beanie boy. The five amigos, baked beans. All right, let's get them in the pit. Going on the pit. Let's see, we got a special rack for them. All right, going into the pit. Get all that. Good fire spice on those beans. Man, they are pretty. Alan Jr. Back on the heat. AKA 
Beanie Boy. <laughs> She's been resting. Unlike us. Yeah. A little flex to her. Huh? Nice and wiggle. All right, I'm going to flip like it that. around here. All right, we're going to see what we can do here. Hi, how are you? How about we take it? Just go right down. It's just like cutting through butter. Separate it here. It's heavy. We got some juice in it, Dougie. Oh, yeah, that looks good, Bill. A nice little bark, nice little smoke ring. Let's see what we got here. Boys, baby, waiting on you. 